This is a special report from ABC News Digital. I'm Dan Pfeffer in New York with this ABC News Digital Special Report. A Bridgegate bombshell. One of New Jersey Governor Chris Christie's closest longtime allies now says the New Jersey governor knew about the George Washington Bridge lane closings and that he has evidence to prove it. Christie, a 2016 Republican presidential favorite, has repeatedly denied any involvement or knowledge and fired the aide he deemed responsible. For now, the latest on this, I want to go to our political director, Rick Klein, who's in Washington, D.C., find the latest on this. And Rick, who is the aide that made this allegation? David Wildstein is a former high school friend of Chris Christie who served on the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, oversees the George Washington Bridge and the entries to it. And, and in a letter from his lawyer to the Port Authority, it's actually a plea to get legal representation for him. He claims that Mr. Wildstein has evidence that suggests that Chris Christie knew about the lane closings in real time and that his administration was, in fact, behind them, ordering them. So the first part of that would directly contradict a key, a key claim that Chris Christie made at that two-hour press conference a few weeks back. So just to be clear, he is saying that he that Chris Christie knew about the lane closings, not necessarily ordered the lane closings. Is that correct? That's correct, and I think it's an important distinction. But let me read you this quote, and this again is from the letter from Mr. Wildstein that was sent uh, this afternoon. ABC News has obtained a copy. It says, quote, It has also come to light that a person within the Christie administration communicated the Christie administration's order that certain lanes on the George Washington Bridge were to be closed. And evidence exists as well tying Mr. Christie to having knowledge of the lane closures during the period when the lanes were closed, contrary to what the government stated publicly in a two-hour press conference he gave immediately before Mr. Wildstein was scheduled to appear before the Transportation Committee. Mr. Wildstein contests the accuracy of various statements that the governor made about him and said he can prove the inaccuracy of some. So again, to that first claim that the Christie administration ordered this, that would be a new development, although it wouldn't directly implicate Christie, to the claim that Christie is shown to have known about them as it was going on. That part is more damaging potentially politically to Chris Christie. Uh, the idea that he knew about it and said that he didn't until afterward would be extremely damaging to his credibility as this moves forward. Now, Wildstein has said apparently that he has evidence to back the claim, as is indicated in that letter there. When, where might we see it? What's interesting here is that he has decided to take the Fifth Amendment before the State Legislative Committee. Uh, there are also criminal investigations going on as well. You'd imagine some of that would come forward in, in potentially sealed testimony at first there. This is now emerging publicly as part of Mr. Wildstein's plea to try to get legal representation uh, for himself from the Port Authority. In addition to that, you'd imagine that if there's a criminal case here, this would be used as part of a potential plea bargain. So there's nothing that, that I know of yet that would compel this, although there are about 20, exactly 20, is out there next week uh, will be producing documents to the state legislative committee. Whether this document is part of that, whatever the supposed evidence, whether it is included in that, unknown at this point. And lastly, do we expect to hear a response from Chris Christie or his or his uh, officer administration at all in the next coming days, even hours from this? They're not responding to us yet. We are we are pushing hard to get some kind of a response. You'd imagine that they would have to at least respond to this direct claim of, of Chris Christie uh, misleading during that uh, press conference. It was a long press conference, as you recall, Dan, and there were many claims in there, and he staked his political credibility to the veracity of the claims he made that day. Any undercutting of that, any questioning of that, any suggestion in writing that he knew things that he says he did not know about, potentially fatal to him politically. ABC's Rick Klein found the latest on this. Rick, we thank you for your time, for your insight. We appreciate that. And, Thanks, of course, a complete recap right here on this latest development on ABCNews.com. For now, I'm Dan Kleffler in New York with this ABC News Digital Special Report.